Hi everyone and welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane and this video is going to take a look at the further development that Reillusion have made with their Character Creator 4 software. So a couple of months ago we looked at their first sort of work in progress video and that did quite well. People seemed really interested in that. So now that they've dropped another one, I thought I'd follow that up with their further developments would take a look at how cool this is looking because it really interests me and I can't wait to get hold of it and have a little play around with it. Uh, with that being said then, let's just jump straight into uh, looking at the video that they have released and see what the new features are all about, shall we? Okay, so boom, let's play. So we start by looking at this guy and we're looking at metahumans, I think, is the focus of this particular work in progress. Level up digital humans, there we go. So you can see this guy, it's all about these subtle animations. If you look at, um, the, I think they're showing us here that they've got two sort of levels of control. So this one's your standard, which has 60 blend shapes, and then you can increase that to extended level, which has 140, which is more than double that. Uh, and then you can see here, it looks like they're now showing us some of these things that you can change. They're like even like twitching the muscles in the neck, uh, moving the eyes around, dilating the pupils, moving the ears. Some people can wiggle their ears, can't they? I, I can't. Yeah, changing the um, shape of the mouth. Like, this is the levels of control on rings that I've never really played with. Uh, and you can see that they've got this really nice interface as well, so that you know which part is which. Uh, having, like, a graphical user interface for any character rig can make it so much easier to work with. I find it much easier anyway. Now, this always blows my mind. So it's compatible with 3D software. So you've got the standard level of control with this. Uh, and this will be coming from an iPhone, most likely, with the uh, the, the Link Up app they've got. And I, I think this is amazing. I, that, I'm, I'm still looking for a, a broken iPhone that's not so broken that I can't use it to give that a try myself. So now we're going to get some uh, comparisons, I think. Yeah, so you've got 60 expressions and versus 40. And you can see... Everything just gets a little more refined. It's essentially the same face shape. And if I'm honest, I would stick to the 60 expression sliders because I'm quite lazy. But for those people that really want realism and that control, you can see that it gives you that. And it, all the extra control makes such a big like Most people don't really make that shape. This one, look at that. So blowing a raspberry, not something you think about, but it's rippling the lips when it's got all the extra controls. So that's without it. It doesn't really manage to ripple the lips, but there's still a good amount of control. And then when you bring that extra control in, like something like blowing a raspberry is quite difficult to do. I, I really like that. Okay, so now they're looking at the smart skin shader. So what I like about this is they're essentially starting with the same base character. Um, and they're changing the properties of the skin. So the skin shader is really nice anyway. Um, but you can adjust it for ethnicity. which So you can start with the same base character, but then make it look representative of whoever it is you're trying to create. So you can see they're moving between someone who looks more Asian to someone who's got more black features, and then they change the skin tone accordingly in both cases, and the result's really good. Obviously, they're changing other things um, as well. But I, how cool is that? So we've also got fast skin color alteration, non-skin area excluded. So they're not doing the non-skin area here, but they're changing the, um, the sort of base skin, what would be the human skin on this. And you can see just with sliders, they're able to change the color of the skin. What else have we got? Skin optimization, highlight excessive details. So here it seems like they are changing the blend between the freckles and the skin color, which is really cool. And then they can change the skin tone in quite a subtle way using a, a standard sort of color picker. And then blend between the two. And it's it's the, all these little blemishes and imperfections, freckles, um, acne spots, things like that, that really make skin look realistic. Uh, so we can also use color tone. So now I think they're blending between, you've got this um, sort of paint, face paint going on. And they're blending that between there as well. So solid skin, skin optimization, speedy response across four high-res skin materials. 
So it looks like you've got some presets to get you going, which is brilliant. And then you can further refine those pretty quickly. Again, you know, if getting the ethnicity of your character is important and getting it right quickly, then you can throw it in there. I like this. So the fact that this blew my mind when I first saw it. Let me just go back. So they start by dropping a picture of that fella onto the model and it does it. Wow. Um, and then they can change the rest of the skin tone to make that feel more naturalistic. Make it all blend. Which again is amazing to me. Yeah, I'm getting that all to blend I think between the original one and the photo and how that comes in. And then they've gone further um, for all the kind of fine details. And they've created this wicked looking old man. How good is that? I love it. So, I mean, we know if you're doing uh, digital human skin's really important. Bake shader color to texture for live link or export. So once you're done here, you can bake all this down to textures, put it wherever it needs to go, or you could live link it with an engine or whatever else. So there's the original and it's been baked down to this new color. <laughs> nice. Yep. And they're showing us all the different textures that get baked out. That's brilliant. And this is also coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, tell me what you're most excited about in this software. I am really excited and I can't wait to get hands on with it. I like I like the drag and drop to create a character um, and all the fine controls. Again, th th having so many facial controls uh, and using that with something like LiveLink, because again, I personally don't have the patience to animate all those by hand. But when you're bringing in some way like the uh, live link app so that you can quickly get some animation down and then you might just refine that later that to me is um amazing also if anybody knows where you can find like iphones that are you know cheap iphone i think it needs to be iphone 8 or greater so that i can have a play with this i would totes create some tutorials on setting that all up as well because oh, it would be good uh, so if you've got any information on where i'm or how i might go about that um, legally, I don't be, you know, I don't want to get it from your dealer or whatever. Uh, but let me know in the comments, uh, and hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you want me to keep you updated with further developments of this software as Reillusion continues to drop these work in progress videos, then just let me know, and I'll do that. I find it really interesting; it keeps me on top of it as well. And I think that's it. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.